The wind and the rain are gone, but unfortunately, a ton of West Texas dust uh, that came in on the back of that front, and actually, some of the rain last night was just mud rain at the end of the day, and we have plenty of dust that's causing that haze out there. You can even smell it when you go outside, but the good news is that we did get rid of the rain, so it's a gorgeous day out there, again, except for that haze. Uh, that is out there. It's warm today, 73, 74 degrees across the area for your highs. Overnight lows, a little bit on the chilly side, 47, 48 degrees across the area. And when we look at the upper level water paper, you can see how dry it is across the area. There's some upper level moisture coming in, but we're really not going to see a lot of moisture for the next uh, day and a half, I would say. Wednesday, though, we will see more moisture making its way up from the Gulf of Mexico. And that We'll set the stage for more storms as we go forward. So the big picture right now, if you look across the Midwest, the storms continue there. A tornado watches, tornado warnings in Indiana right now. And that's the system that moved out of our area. So they are dealing with the outgoing system. And I'm starting to feel like a broken record because I don't know how many of these videos I've made where I say the old system is moving out and we have our new system coming in off the California coast, the Oregon coast there. So this is the system that will move across the country, and this actually looks like it will track to where the low will be right over our area. That could mean strong to severe storms for our area. Here's what it looks like for Thursday, and this is early. This is a day three outlook. Plenty of change can happen between now and Thursday when these storms arrive. Right now, Part of our area, about 50% of the area, is uh, under a marginal risk for severe weather. But remember what I've said many times, this is a broad area. When you have an area this big, generally it's going to be filled in by a slight risk, maybe an enhanced risk. The main thing to remember right now is that I-35E and East is essentially what we're looking at as far as that main chance of severe weather. doesn't mean it can't move to the west a little bit. Very well could. Hey, it could retreat to the east. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So over the next couple of days, I will keep you updated on this. But for now, just be ready for some storms on Thursday. Kind of a quick forecast video today because it's pretty simple. What I will say, though, is that we are definitely getting into a springtime pattern where we just got rid of a storm system and we've got another one. So we're starting to see that pattern come into place where once or twice a week we get those storms moving in and we have to watch those for severe weather. Today, tomorrow, sunny. We're warm, today warmer tomorrow. We go from 73, 74 degrees today to around 80 degrees on Tuesday. Wednesday, we start moving all that moisture in. Looks like we could have some morning showers in the area. We're a little bit cooler in the mid 70s. Thursday, the cold front in that, the cold front in that system comes in. It looks like the if the low pressure system goes over our area, the front itself will move south of us, but it still is going to bring us some cooler weather. So windy Thursday, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe. We get cool Thursday night, and then Friday's nice and chilly, uh, comparatively chilly at least, mid-50s. Uh, but it will be sunny. It will be windy, though. So a few things to keep in mind, and that's another westerly wind. So could, set, could have some dust involved with that, too. Saturday and Sunday, we start warming back up again, and we'll be looking for that next system to move in. So dusty today. I think we're better tomorrow. Wednesday, rainy. And then Thursday, we look at our next chance for thunderstorms.